Hello YouTube, I'm back with another video. Today we're going to go over Mac spoofing. Um, <clears throat> you may be wondering to yourself, what is a Mac address? I have a picture of a Mac address right here. So, address is basically a unique hardware address set by the manufacturer. It's unique in all of the world, and it allows the router to send an IP address to the local hardware. The first three digits of the Mac address are actually the manufacturer. So if you were to look up this number right here, that would be the manufacturer of that Mac address. MAC addresses also belong to the network interface card, not to the computer itself. This is one of the distinctions between an IP address and a MAC address. Now, with that being said, MAC addresses cannot be changed, they can only be spoofed. So what we're doing here is spoofing and cloning it. Will we be able to spoof our MAC address? Let's find out in today's video. <laughs> Starting off, I'm on Parrot OS. Uh, it's a Linux distribution. If you haven't seen how to install Linux yet, make sure to check out my virtual machine video. <laughs> it's very bad. Um, let's start off by typing in Mac Changer. Oh, and also, uh, it should come pre-installed with Linux, but if not, you can just go to GitHub and clone it. So, we're going to start by typing in Mac Changer dash dash help, or, you know, Mac Changer dash H. So, it's going to show you all of the parameters here that we have. Um, you know, H is for help, V is for version, like what kind of version do we have? Mac changer dash V. Or dash capital V. So it shows us what type it is, you know, what version is, 1.7. Um, so now we need to find our network interface. What we're going to do is go to file, open tab, and then we're going to type in ifconfig. Alternatively, you could type in IPA, but ifconfig is the standard. Uh, it'll show your IP address right here, but what we're actually looking for is our network interface, right here. Most people do have a wireless network interface, um, such as a inter wireless internet card. But if you don't, make sure to check out a USB antenna. I got one for $20 off of Amazon.com. So give that a check. After we've found out our wireless interface, let's go back to the terminal and type in clear. We're going to clear this. Uh, let's MacChanger-H. So, the next thing we're going to do is type in MacChanger-S so we can show our MAC address. So MacChanger- well, no, we're going to put in our network interface first, so Ethernet 0. We have Ethernet 0 right here, so type in Ethernet 0 and then dash S. This is my current MAC address on my virtual machine, and it shows that the manufacturer is VMware, which is accurate, I'm using VMware. But if we were to type in MacChanger- dash a or ethernet zero. i actually recommend running this as a uh, admin or root user because most of the time it won't work if you just type in mac changer dash a so mac changer ethernet zero dash a so it says it couldn't have sufficient permission so we need to do sudo mac changer ethernet zero dash a this will give us a new mac address um so then we're gonna type in mac changer ethernet zero dash p or pseudo mac changer ethernet zero dash p this will give us a new mac address and it'll pretty much change it so that's all there really is to know about um mac address changing or spoofing but if you'd like to know a list of manufacturers for different mac addresses uh, and you know wireless internet cards all you have to do is type in Mac changer dash L this will just show you a whole bunch of different manufacturers and whatnot so that's about all there is to know um, so yeah I'll see you guys in the next video and peace hey guys if you want to support me on my channel make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates me I'm just growing my channel and I spend hours editing and revising to deliver unique content to you all peace